going to be covering a number of basic medical themes, such as the process of professionalization, <coughs> faith, belief, and healing, informed consent. Excuse me. Help. I can't breathe. What are you waiting for? Do something. You. What's your name? Alexander Conrad. Mr. Conrad, I'd like you to take his vitals, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just a student. Dr. Hansen, he's gonna die. Anyone. His heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure. Come on, people, do something. <laughs> Welcome to Intro to Clinical Medicine, everyone. Might be easier if you come up here, Barry. Barry is a standardized patient, an actor, trained to portray a sick person. If this were real life, he'd be dead. The primary goal of this class is to teach you how to interact with your patients. Most of the time, the things you will be doing will be under pressure. That's why we're practicing here. Mr. Conrad, would you like to come start the exam? Mr. Conrad, I hope you didn't think I was picking on you. Not at all. You chose me over everyone else. Well, that's an optimistic way of looking at it. I want you to know I'm usually better in emergencies. In prep school, this kid fell out a window, and I'm the one who called 911. That was quick thinking. I just don't want you to think I'm a bad student, because I'm not. I can do this. I'm sure you can. You are? Well, thank you for the vote of confidence. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Everything you heard is true. You will be practicing drawing blood on each other. Let's start by breaking into pairs. One person from each team should come up and get supplies. Well, looks like I'm the odd man out. Well, since nobody wants to give blood twice, why don't you give me your best shot? Hey. We're gonna start with the tourniquet. And you don't want to cut off circulation. You just want to make it tight enough to increase the pressure. Okay. How's that? Good. You should be able to see the veins inflate. Okay, once you've found the vein, you need to disinfect the entry area. Now insert the needle. Oh! Oh, you missed the vein. I'm sorry. It's all right. Try again. I got it. I got it. Now, attach the vacuum tube to the needle. The vacuum will draw out the blood. Remove the tourniquet. Once the tube is full, remove it from the barrel. You should withdraw the needle while applying pressure to the vein. My God, it's warm. Of course it is. It's 98.6 degrees. <laughs> Alexander, if you'd come to my office on campus, you wouldn't have to wait for me to do six throat cultures and four urinalyses. Have a seat. Is everything OK? I don't think I'm cut out for this. Medicine, I mean. Well, if this is about what happened yesterday. I have wanted to be a surgeon since I was six. I used to dissect fish in our backyard with a plastic knife just to figure it out. Then again, fish don't have blood. I guess I could get used to the blood. Of course you could. It's just sometimes I'm way too sensitive. Like when that Barry guy collapsed. I'm so worried about hurting him, I end up killing him. Well, you get used to the pressure. When I was first year... It's this ideal of perfectionism that's holding me back. I need to get my hands dirty. A couple of mishaps should not discourage me. Absolutely not. I have never been a quitter. When I get knocked down, I get up, I keep fighting. Unless I'm bleeding. I'm gonna stick this out. That's terrific. Thank you for your great advice, Dr. Hanson. I really appreciate it. 